a functional demo of tobacco scan data and show the details of how this program is implemented, how it's ran, what technology is being used, uh, and how the merchant goes to the onboarding and the implementation process all the way to the point when they start getting paid. So without further ado, let's just jump on the Clover device and uh, see how uh, this process looks like from the eyes of the merchant. Thanks. So to initiate the tobacco scan data, what a merchant would need to do is first install the app. And you know, here we have a Clover Station Duo, and right here we have a uh, Clover Mini. And so even Mini would work. And in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do the first install on the Mini. So we're going to more tools, right? And we're looking for an app called Tobacco Scan Data. And there it is. All right, so mine already has it. Uh, and yours will say connect and then you'd be able to choose the program and also uh, It will tell you that this app is a web app You can use it only on the web browser from your computer or mobile phone. All right, so but installing it Now allows us to install the rest of the apps uh, and the rest of the apps that we need is called inventory plus plus and so let me jump on my station now and the other app that I'm in installing is called Inventory++. This is the app that, that has web and desktop interface, and it has a couple of purposes, right? So the very first one that we're talking about here is just the item prep for scan data, right? So here's our Altria scan data settings, and here's our Reynolds scan data settings. And there's not much of a settings. All we really need to do at this particular state is just select the items and say, these are the items that we wish to report to Altria or Reynolds. Uh, and at that, even, uh, the merchants don't have to select the entire item set. Uh, because like I have like 10,000 records on this database here, but like we have two items selected, right? And the items that we have selected are obviously tobacco. So we have, well, let's not put Camel and Newport. So... Let's just have our, maybe just one now. Yep, now it's just one item. All right, so we I've selected my uh, my Newport, but obviously uh, this is a demo device, and so the merchant would select their entire tobacco uh, uh, tobacco category, right? So everything that's tobacco related, they would select. Or if there are some specific items they don't want to report on, they can do that as well. They can just say. Uh, let me, let me go back here and unselect like that, right? So only Newport, save. All right, so that's it. And then the rest of the steps can now be done on the, on the web browser. So let's take a look at that. And so we're back on our dashboard here. And tobacco scan data and inventory plus plus that we have installed are both here. Uh, scan data and inventory plus plus. And we can open both of them. And so here's our uh, tobacco scan data and I'm navigating to my settings. And then here it gives me my active steps and my completed steps, right? So I have some completed product information set up. I've already completed this, so but let me kind of demonstrate you. And remember when I was on my Clover device, I've only really selected one item uh, from my Altria, but then what I've done is I've used this we may hold button here. And what that does is, so we have a database of tobacco products that we have built up over the time, and it's quite comprehensive, right? And we use it to first validate the, like say a merchant comes to us and they already have, uh, let me just go ahead and continue here. So say they already have inventory. So we'll, we'll scan their inventory against ours and we'll match the items up and we will fill out the rest of the information about the item that Altria and Reynolds wants uh, on behalf of the merchant. Uh, and then also what we'll do, and this is the second continuum here. This is the, we can populate the missing information, some of the items. So the first one was actually, so the one that I've described is this one, but the first one is a really cool one too. It just selects more items uh, for the merchant. So I selected one item by hand, and then I clicked on this button, we scanned 
uh, merchant's database against our database, and where we knew for sure that that was a tobacco product, you see how that number jumped to 623. We found more tobacco products, um, and we selected them, and we pre-filled all of the information. And everything that was left is something that the merchant has to, you know, fix by hand. And what is uh, what is this? It's a lottery uh, cash dash, and so. Let's say, for example, this right here is not an item they wish to report. So they like there's a couple of things they can do. They can say, uh, oh, basically we can just take this SKU and, and move it to the product code. So that's what was, was missing. If they wish to exclude this item from scan data, they can just choose none. Uh, makes kind of sense, right? And so now we've kind of fixed this issue. We hit refresh, and that's it. Now, watch all the errors are gone and the inventory prep, the product information setup is complete. And more like when merchants come to us and it's a good match of our database against their database, then the item you know, information setup is done in minutes. Uh, we just click a, couple, click a couple of buttons and that's it. And the next steps is to do the stuff, uh, to, to do the steps with Altria and with Reno. So let me first show you what the Altria does. Um, and Altria basically has this process. First, you want to uh, fill out this form. And it's basically a form that they have uh, that every merchant needs to fill out to get set up uh, test uh, store name. One, 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 two, two, two. So it's a six digit number. Uh, total stores, we have one store number. Uh, to submit to scan that with just one. This would be the representative that you have uh, who is your Altria rep. So John Altria rep. Uh, retailer business contact information. So this would be the store owner name, uh, owner uh, or manager and Uh, then the phone number, right? And then email at owner.com. Retailer contact for scan data reporting is basically whoever within the store needs to be responsible for scan data reporting. This isn't technical stuff, this is business stuff. So it still has to be somebody, store owner or manager, right? Um, whoever it is, let's go. And we put in that same phone number and then. And we can put that email here. And then we have to specify when is the store open. Always, right? And yes, will there be a third party providers? Yes, there will be third party providers. You click on that, yes. And then here, you simply choose CSI works. Uh, and in the third party, you can put my name, Steve Slobovsky, uh, and our phone number. and our email like that, right? And that's it. Uh, yes, we can do actual IDs um, and I'm not gonna submit because that's actually gonna submit, um, but you know, here it is. Uh, so you fill out this form and after you filled out this form, uh, you can just call this number and request for tobacco scan data. And what Altria will do is provide us with the FTP credentials um, that we just need to enter here. Um, and then the, uh, the account goes to production. So this process here, um, you know, getting uh, FTP credentials uh, from a merch from manufacturer for Altria will take maybe five days. From Reynolds, take again anywhere between two to five days as well, just to get the FTP credentials. Um, let me show you what the Reynolds FTP credential setup looks like. So Reynolds is a very similar process, but they have a PDF form that they will send to you once you call them and request a uh, scan data setup. The form will look like this. Uh, the parts that are required, you know, for software provider, you can put CSI works. 
uh, info at csiworks.net and the phone number like this. And we sent five delimited with headers. Uh, that's our file format. And the rest of the information is just the business information that you know, needs to be filled out. And this form gets sent to this email address. Uh, and when they receive it, they will reply. And as long as you put our contact information here as well, then they will send us the FTP credentials, okay? And with FTP credentials, we would be able to do the following steps. We just enter those in uh, to our, uh, you know, to the merchant's account here and, uh, you know, provide store information, including account number. And after that, the data will start flowing. So, and the flow of the data uh, is being built uh, like so, and then all the other transmissions are here. And you can view the details of transmissions. Uh, you can download the file uh, and you can resend the file. Uh, and you can close it. And so at this point, what we've done so far is we've configured uh, both Reynolds and Altria. Uh, we've received the FTP credentials and we've begun sending data. As far as uh, Altria is concerned, th it's been two weeks. Uh, and upon sending the second successful transmission, Altria will say that they are ready to do the discounts. And so to set up the discount, we're going back to the uh, Clover devices. All right, so we're back here on a Clover device. And at this point, we are transmitting data to both Altria and Reynolds. Uh, and Altria has asked us to start going to production and begin issuing discounts. And the first discount that I want to set up is going to be the multi-pack discounts. Multi-pack discounts are characterized by the, the quantity of packs, right? So you buy two packs, you get a discount, and you don't have to implicate the customer information in it. I already got one set up for to expedite it, so I just gave it a name, MPP, a multi-pack Philip Morris, uh, scan data. We have to put in that flag over there. Uh, this section right here just basically talks about the recurrence, and the way that it's configured, it just says that it's always, all the time. Okay, and it can, you know, for other purposes that a merchant can use this app, they can, you know, play around with the scheduling if they need to. And then we have the discount for 50 cents. On this page, there's additional settings. You know, is this Altria or Reynolds? We're doing Altria. Are they doing mix or match? Because right now, currently, they're allowing for mix, and sometimes they don't allow for mix. And by mix, we mean, you know, a pack of Silvero, a Silver Marlboro, and a pack of Red Marlboro would still be counted as two packs. Um, and then we're triggering on every two packs. You know, we go to our next and that's our inventory. These are our categories. And then we click on tobacco and we just click on Marlboro Silver, right? So I only have one, but the merchant would select all of their Marlboro items, obviously. And so we just save this discount and the rest of the transaction would just, the you know, environment would basically happen here. So merchant would do a checkout like that. It's going to do the age verification. So we can just do the age verification. And further down in the videos, I'm going to talk about uh, more about the age verification. Um, and then, you know, we can just scan another pack. And so our multi-pack discount is triggered. And then on we go to pay. Okay. So this transaction took place. And then... Next week, when we're reporting, that tr that discount also will go along with the report to scan data, okay? And, and so basically, there's nothing else a merchant needs to do at this point. They are triggering discounts, and Altria is getting those discount information. Um, and now, merchant wants to do the loyalty program for uh, Altria, because they're ready. So... For the loyalty program, we're giving them an app called Cloud CRM. Um, and upon opening this app, they go to the menu and they click on Workflow Management and they click on the Altria loyalty program here. And there's a bunch of different programs that's currently available. Let's take a look at Helix, USSTC LFP, LNM, um, USSTC P3 Plus, 
uh, LFP um, and P2. So these are all the active programs that are currently available, plus one that I've kind of already pre-set up here. So this is our Philip Morris USA P1-P4. Uh, these are periods, right, or quarters. And so, like I said, this thing goes on for the whole year, mostly. Let's pretend that it's two items and it's a $1 off. These dollar amounts can vary based on location, but your agent, your uh, Altria agent, will always know what the dollar amount is. And then you can select what item um, this qualifies to. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my Marlboro Silver. Now, remember, we already set up a multi-pack for Marlboro Silver and you know all of our Marlboros, and this, the case would be the same here. Because this is a demo device, I only have one. Merchant would have all of their Marlboros and they would select all of the Marlboros. And then there's this additional setting today that gives them ability to trigger the discount once or keep triggering discounts. Okay, and again, some merchants are told to do one and, and some merchants are told to do the other. So it all depends on, you know, what your agent tells you. And then we go save. And so now we turn, well, actually, we just need to turn it on right here. So now we turned it on. Now we've turned on. Um, the uh, loyalty program and the multi-pack program so far, right? And let's just go back to our register and see how that functions. I'm going to grab my Marlboro here and I'm going to do a scan. It's going to want me to age verify, so I'm going to do that. But now, when it does age verify, because we have a loyalty program running, it's going to say, um, do you want to add this customer as a loyalty customer? And we say yes. And it adds the customer and it validates to make sure that there is a phone number. Um, and then when we scan the second number, you know, two discounts trigger. Uh, Multipack, Philip Morris, and the PM USA, you know, the loyalty one for the total of uh, $1.50. So for two discounts. And again, the merchant doesn't really have to do anything to get those, uh, to do those. And upon finishing this transaction, like I just did, they can be assured that this gets reported to Altria on a weekly basis. And so now let's pretend more time has gone by. Um, and in fact, let me just kind of talk about it a little bit. Reynolds uh, will take for weeks that they call uh, technical review. By technical review, they mean that they're not even looking at the comp like the file information, like the, the data that you're sending them, the actual sales data, they are not looking at it. All they're looking at is making sure that the files that we're transmitting have no validation errors. And we can guarantee that for four weeks, you'll have no validation errors. We know how to send tech files to Reynolds. After those four weeks, including the four, four weeks, there's a four months period that Reynolds wants to validate the data. And that means during the four months period, uh, they also allow you to resend the previous four weeks that you were doing for the technical. So that four weeks plus three more months, basically, is the time frame. Uh, they call... T <laughs> They call data validation review, right? And 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 uh, to validate the data and uh, be um, sort of qualified uh, to go to production and start doing discounts, they require three additional months, including those four weeks. So a total of four four months. But let's say that that time has gone by and Reynolds has come and said that your account has been certified and you are now allowed to do the discounts um, for multi-pack. Let me show you how we do the multi-packs with the use of Newport. So I already have one configured. Um, let's take a look. So I've just given it a simple name, Reynolds one, um, and we're just gonna run this for Newport, okay, for a pack of these. And again, it, it starts sometime in the, in the past uh, and goes on all the time without an end. And the dollar amount is $2. Uh, $2. Again, these are really random numbers. You know, um, each location would have a little bit of a variance on the price discount. And agents are extremely helpful in that regard because they'll know exactly what dollar amount you need to use. So I'm putting in Reynolds here. I'm saying that it's a match, right? So they have to buy exactly this Newport and, and, and uh, 
scan the same skew twice um, and and not mix. All right, just to show how that works. And then you know they trigger on every two. And then here we select our um, our new port and all the new ports if there are more. Um, and I do want to make sure that it's turned on though, like so. All right, and so now it's turned on, uh, and now the discount scheduler is running our Reynolds and our uh, multi packs uh, for uh, Philip Morris. And we can go ahead and give this a test uh, here in a register app. I can go ahead and scan my Newport pack, uh, like so. And you know, indeed, it will ask me to verify my age. And here. All right, and uh, my loyalty customer, sure, why not? And then let's uh, do another one of these. And as you can see, the only discount that gets triggered on, on new ports is Reynolds. Now, I'm gonna, so we've already aged verified um, and indicated that it's a loyalty customer. So the customer is here, see how it says remove customer. Um, so at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and scan Marlboro. All right, and uh, twice, all right? And when I scan Marlboro twice, well, first of all, it didn't ask us for age verification because we've already done that in that transaction. Uh, and it didn't ask for loyalty because we've already assigned uh, and all the discounts triggered. And um, I can show you that it works solid. So let me remove this Reynolds here. Like I'm gonna use these quantities here, um, right? So. Let me remove Ronald uh, Newport again. Done. Uh, delete. There. And then what I want to do is instead of scanning it, just show that even this, because I know some developers uh, have this issue where you use this quantity and it doesn't work. Right? So I want to go to tobacco. Uh, let's see here. Tobacco. And I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna say two, quantity two, I'm gonna grab Newport. There, there's the discount. So, solid. All right, and so, so far, basically, what we've done is we've implemented uh, Reynolds uh, with the multi-pack, and we have implemented Altria with uh, the multi-pack and the discount uh, for the loyalties, okay? And, um, Next is the loyalty program for uh, for the uh, Reynolds because they in fact now also have the loyalty program and same app is used. Uh, we have Cloud CRM here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Um, and I'm gonna navigate to the Reynolds loyalty program. So because there's a test, you're gonna see some test data here, but Grizzly, let's just grab this Grizzly one and what we're saying is, you know, you grab five of, uh, of individual Grizzly cans and you get $2.50 discount. I don't know that we have Grizzlies in uh, our inventory yet. So before we do this, I'm just going to go to my inventory real quick and navigate to my tobacco and see what's out there. categories tobacco Newport and camel all right so let's go ahead and add new item we'll call it a grizzly uh, nope I have to use a cheat sheet I don't know how these things are spelled with the Y long cut I don't know if it's important all right, uh, let's say it's 10 bucks. I don't know how much it is actually, although I did just buy it. Um, and then I'm just gonna scan this product code here, uh, like so. And let's go ahead and put it in SKU and save. All right, so now we have this Grizzly Long Cut here and I can go back to my uh, Cloud CRM app and click Assign Items and navigate to my Tobacco and grab my grizzly long cut and hit save and we want the discount to trigger once right so hit save 
So there it is, Grizzly is on. And now we're just gonna go to register and let's go ahead and start over, right? So let's actually start. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scan. It's going to want to age verify, right? So we're gonna go ahead and age verify. And yes, we are a loyal customer. And then let's just scan another Marlboro and the discount trigger. Now we can do the Grizzly. Uh, so four Grizzlies, no discount. Five Grizzlies, a discount. All right, and then we can do a new port. Uh, one, two, and there's a discount as well for new port. So as you can see, it's very automated. And at this point, merchant just gets paid. Oh, sorry about that. And lastly, I just wanna show what the receipt looks like. Uh, so let's see, this is what the receipt looks like and it does show the discounts um, on the receipt. Okay, cool, thank you.